on the ballot in 2022. But I could not be more joyful to be here, and I could not be more hopeful about what this election has in store with us. We just have a few more days, and I can tell you, I have been all over this state, from Duluth to Moorhead, from Hibbing to, uh, to Albert Lee in Austin. I've been at dozens and dozens of door knock kickoffs and events, including more than a few in my own home. And I have seen, I'm optimistic because I have seen the organizers in this state who are willing to work harder and harder every day. In fact, I'm aware of some organizers who literally spent their anniversary yeah. making phone calls. Yeah. Alana and Tom, you know who I'm talking about. I've seen volunteers that just keep showing up and showing up because they understand that that's how we build relationships and build community. That's what organizing looks like. And I have seen these incredible candidates who never forget that the point of politics is to improve people's lives. I am hopeful most of all, though, because I have seen Minnesota voters all over this state. Minnesota voters are so ready to reject this extremist Republican Party. This party who basically comes down on the side of only believing in elections if they're the ones who win. And I've seen, in contrast, our candidates, our candidates that are willing to stand up for Minnesotans and against big oil and big pharma and the big opioid companies, candidates who believe firmly and support our rights, our freedom to be able to decide for ourselves about our own bodies and our own lives, candidates that are willing to do the work to make our country better. So this election is going to be close. That's how we do it in Minnesota. Our elections are always close. But know in this moment, every vote counts. Every vote matters. Every voice is strong. Use your voice. Make sure your voice is heard this election, and we will win. Thank you, Minnesota.